that so said. you're talking about the planning thing so tell me what is what what is a, a well-planned operation in your mind my for that? me the the way when i talk about planning i was there's two two statements that i live by as and being an officer in the teams it was my primary job was tactical planning mm -hmm. and so it's two things the f is never fail to plan and always plan to fail so what made us so successful in the seals was that it didn't matter what we were doing if you know we finish a uh, training evolution and we're all going to go get burritos you would have we would have a planning session over going to get burritos as a group and it was always the same things like we cover the same steps all the time it was like okay what's what's the purpose of the mission what are the courses of action we're going to do pick a course of action what's the core plan what are contingencies that could come up what are the solutions to those contingencies wow. uh everyone's got their assignments let's go and who, then we who would, didn't get salsa how do you go back to get the salsa Everything. No, we yeah you know, we would have if someone didn't it wouldn't be who didn't get salsa that would be having a failure that you then have to fix yeah. we would plan to fail so before we even left we would say what happens if Joel doesn't get the salsa yeah okay what are we gonna do what if <laughs> there is no salsa what if the thing is so that's so never fail to plan. It didn't matter what, and it was always the same steps, no matter what. So you knew, and it goes quick that way, right? And then the second half of it, I think, is very unique to the SEALs, always plan to fail. So if you are if you never fail to plan, always plan to fail, you will have success. So you're never going on assumption, ever? No. There's never never an assumed outcome. It is a, it is a guaranteed outcome based upon working through the failure yeah thinking like to, this is the depth that we would go through planning so before you would start you would get an objective from the commander but it's really his intention which is is a future to create not an objective it wasn't because he would say go take the go take the building where the terrorists are you might if you were to do that in he said go blow it up right that's an objective mm -hmm. we would go to blow it up and there's a school on one side a hospital on the other side we fail yeah. right so he would say his intention the commander's intent is that the terrorists can't operate out of that area it's up to us to figure out how to do that hmm. so he'd give us an intention or a future to create but then we would go into courses of action so we come up with three different plans then he he picked the best one so you already start with three plans from there, you would pick five phases per plan. So now you've got five different plans in that one, one of three. Then in each of the five phases, we come up with three major contingencies. So three major problems per phase. So that's 15 plans. Yeah. And then you come up with three solutions per problem. So you aren't even just solving it one way, you're solving it three ways. So you're taking 15 times three. 45 different plans oh. right and, and how long would it typically take to plan something out we have 45 different plans so we always do those steps no matter what if we're going to go get burritos we do those same steps because of that th we didn't let the mission determine how we plan we let how much time we had to plan determine the depth of plan okay if you had five minutes to plan you cover all five steps the same way you just had to do it real shallow if you had five days to plan, well, you would cover all five steps, you just go real deep. Yeah. The one mission that I knew was never gonna happen was the perfect mission we planned. Yeah. That's the only one. And if someone said, that's not gonna happen, I'd throw something at them, because that just guaranteed that that's gonna happen. Yeah. Right? Interesting. That, it's not going to happen that a moose is going to charge the camp. No moose is going to charge the camp. Right? And that, get what happened this morning? A one antlered moose charged the camp. Charged the camp, and yeah. Nate was by himself with one boot one on. Boot like, on. what the heck is that? And in the dark, is able to just pull the trigger in the general yeah. area, puts it right through his neck, and drop a moose within ten feet of where we're sleeping, right yeah. here, right yeah. here next to. I mean, literally ten feet out that wall. So. You're right, crazy stuff. And had we thought that through, there would have been somebody out there in place. We would have posted up. It would have been, yeah, probably right. There would have been things that we could have done to do this. So, so I think next time was, we do this, we're gonna have to base basic plan, right? Yeah.